Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So just recently I did a criminal record search on Michael Ray in Wisconsin and I got back a lot of information. I want to show you everything that I got back because it's crazy. If you've seen Mike Ray recently, his videos, he has been on a decline talking about killing people and talking about uh, threatening them and having their accounts hacked and all this crap that could get him in a lot of trouble. So I wanted to see what he's been up to with the state of Wisconsin and we're going to jump into that right now. Quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate the support every month. Your support allows me to do things like this, like pay out money. I mean, this was only $7 here, but pay out money to get these reports back. Uh, so I definitely appreciate the support. All right, so I will be shading out his address, but here is his file. There is his mugshot. Actually, Cam might be covering that up, but I'll get to the mugshot in just a second. We have alias name, Mike M. Ray, state ID, and that is right there. The height is six feet, weight 230 pounds, eye color brown, hair color black, uh, date of birth 7692. And there is his picture right there. It says the photo is 127-2022. And I don't know what he got up to on that date, but he is definitely not smiling. So we have a criminal history here, and it says the arrest data and the charge. So let's look at this. This was 2014. And we have maintain drug trafficking place, and that is a felony. And hey, quick disclaimer, I'm not saying that he has felonies or anything. I'm just literally reading you what I see, so take it for what it is. Now we have a... Maintain drug trafficking place charge. We have possession of a short barreled shotgun rifle. And what else here? That's a felony too. Okay, now it does say that the maintain drug trafficking place is dismissed and the felony charge. Okay, so that's also dismissed the felony charge for the possession of the short barreled rifle. I think I read about that in the FOIA request I did on Mike where he said it was someone else's or something happened with that. I'd have to go back to it, but uh, he was able to get out of that. Now we do have a charge here, possession of THC. I mean, that's nothing who doesn't like a little THC once in a while. I mean, personally, I would never, ever do marijuana or THC because that's what bad people do. This is bad. Don't do this, kid. I mean, they do say it is chocolate, even though it's kind of strawberry flavor. Double baked chocolate still smells like strawberry to me. You have intentionally pointing a firearm at a person. Uh, that's also a misdemeanor. Carrying concealed weapon. That's a misdemeanor. That's weird because in most states, I would assume that would be a felony, but I guess maybe there was different circumstances. Uh, let's see here. We got no walk, misdemeanor, misdemeanor. There's lots of repeat information here. Uh, we have sentencing right here, and this is June 30th, 2022. Court set restitution at zero for all cases. Okay, right here we have court order defendant to provide a DNA sample and pay the DNA DNA surcharges, all costs, to be paid at the end of probation, 9-30-2023. Okay, and then convert it to a civil judgment, maybe for the charges. So there's something there where he didn't get out of that because September 30th, 2023 is the end of probation. It looks like his sentencing, maybe part of his probation, maintain work and school. Okay, so right here, 6-30-2022, no possession of firearms unless it is part of a firearm safety course. No contact with MJK. I don't know. I'm not 100% what MJK is. Milwaukee something something? I, I don't know. Okay, so 6-30-2022. Comments complete a firearm safety course in anger management class. It looks like there was something here. 40 days Milwaukee County House of Corrections. That says 6-30-2022. Probation by judgment, 15 months. It looks like this is all tied together. So maybe he didn't serve any time or he served a little bit. It's very confusing because some of it's dismissed, some of it's not dismissed, some of it's probation. A total of 15 hours community service to all cases. Now again, this is no possession of firearms unless it is part of a firearm safety course. Just recently, he flashed his guns that were in his apartment and threatened to kill someone. So I'm not going to go to the court myself, but I'm just saying these people that he's threatening when he's flashing his guns while he is currently on probation, that's not smart. He can go to jail for that. Like he can literally just go to jail because if you violate your probation, you go to jail for the original time that was said. What was it? 15 months or something like that. So all it would take is one of these people that he's threatening, Lawsuit, Jerry, Zay, and there's a bunch of others to just send the video to the court system or to the local police. And I don't know for sure, but... I would assume that he goes back to jail. And that's the end of the rap sheet right there. So there you have it. That was $7. Uh, we got a lot of information here. I know some of it's unclear, at least for me, because I'm not that familiar with Wisconsin. But uh, it appears like it says right here, comments, no possession of firearms unless it's part of the firearm safety course. So with him flashing his firearms and threatening to murder people on YouTube, I would assume that would be a probation violation. So I would think that uh, anyone that had that video could get it to the court, the Milwaukee Circuit Court. They could get it to the sheriff's office or the local police station, and they would probably arrest him for violation of his probation, and he would go to jail and serve the full term. I'm assuming that. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know, but 
uh, let me know what you think in the comment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.